The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication. Podcast publishing made easy. Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Academy Award Theater was a CBS radio anthology series which presented 30-minute adaptations of plays, novels, or films. The program's title is listed in one source as Academy Award Theater. Rather than adaptations of Oscar-winning films, as the title implied, the series offered Hollywood's finest, the great picture plays, the great actors and actresses, techniques and skills, chosen from the honor roll of those who have won or been nominated for the famous Golden Oscar of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. With that as a guideline, any drama could be presented as long as the cast included at least one Oscar-nominated performer. For example, Robert Nathan's 1940 novel Portrait of Jenny was not released as a film until 1949. David O. Selznick, having acquired the rights to Nathan's novel in 1944, was spending much time and money in his efforts to bring it to the screen. Thus, Academy Awards December 4, 1946, adaptation of Portrait of Jenny, with John Lund and Oscar winner Joan Fontaine, had a promotional aspect, concluding with host-slash-announcer Hugh Brundage revealing, Portrait of Jenny is soon to be a Selznick International picture starring Jennifer Jones and Joseph Cotton. The program initially aired on Saturdays at 7 p.m. through June, then moved to Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Frank Wilson scripted the 30-minute adaptations for producer-director D. Engelbach, and Leith Stevens provided the music. Frank Wilson was the script writer. The sound effects crew included Gene Twombly, Jay Roth, Clark Casey, and Bern Surrey. The series began March 30, 1946, with Betty Davis, and Revere, and Faye Bainter in Jezebel. On that first show, Jean Hersholt spoke as president of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, welcoming the E.R. Squibb and Sons Pharmaceutical Company, the House of Squibb, as the program sponsor. It was an expensive show to produce since the stars cost $4,000 a week, and another $1,600 went each week to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences for the use of their name in the show's title. This eventually became a factor in Squibb's decision to cancel the series after only 39 weeks. Dramas in which actors recreated their original film roles included Henry Fonda in Young Mr. Lincoln, Humphrey Bogart in The Maltese Falcon, Cary Grant in Suspicion, Gregory Peck in The Keys of the Kingdom, and Ronald Coleman in Lost Horizon. Of the 39 episodes, only six actors recreated their own Oscar-winning roles, Faye Bainter, Betty Davis, Paul Lucas, Victor McLaglen, Paul Muni and Ginger Rogers. The series ended December 18, 1946, with Margaret O'Brien and one of the series' frequent supporting players, Jeff Chandler in Lost Angel. Welcome to another play in our anthology series with great actors and actresses. Now, Set back and enjoy this week's audio play.